these steps I'll show you now. Now here we are able to run Java. When we say Java and we give some class name, some program name, let's say program name, and if I hit enter, the purpose of this command is this command will go and tell JVM, hey JVM, can you run this compiled code? So this will assume program name is a compiled code, which is a byte code. If I hit enter, it will say cannot find this code because this instruction is just an instruction to JVM. So this is instructs, sorry, I'm writing it wrong, please. Yeah, this command instructs JVM to run bytecode program name. If JVM finds it, JVM will run it. If not, it will give an error like this. So first we have to get this bytecode. Right now we do not have this bytecode. So bytecode comes when we run this command java c program name dot java. So we have to write a java file, we have to compile it and then we will get the bytecode and bytecode comes in a file called program name dot class. So this we will see in action. So let's say I go to my desktop. Here on desktop I have nothing apart from Eclipse. So what I will do is I will create a file here. So I will go to notepad. I will write a Java file. Now there are few things people who are seeing Java code for the first time. Uh, it's not that scary. We have to remember some rules because any language will have some rules. So here Java follows some rules. The rule is we have to write these lines public class and any name we can give. I will give first program. So this is, remember this is our class name. When bytecode is created, it will be created with this name. So this is something which is mandatory in any Java program. We have to write a class. After that, we have to write public, static, void, main, and all this is case sensitive. So all these are small case. Only thing that is capital case is first letter of string S rest all is small case and this is the class name which is variable. So we can change this for any, if I write my second program, I'll give second program or third program or fourth program. So this highlighted portion is something that is up to us to choose. Rest of the things are fixed. We have to write in the same way, same case, only S is capital, rest all is small. Now this is our bare minimum Java program. If I go and save it, so I'll go to file, save, I will go to desktop and I will say first program dot Java. That's how we name our programs. This name should match the class name that we have written. First program, first program dot Java. So we save it. So we can say we have written our first Java program. Now let's go and compile our code. The command I told you to compile is we'll use Java C and program name dot Java. So if I go back here. I am in the same directory, I am on desktop and the program is also on desktop. So we need to be in the same directory. Here if I do dir, it lists that now there is a file, first program.java. dir is just a command to list all the files available there. In UI we just go to that folder and we see oh, there are these many files. DR, dir is a command line way of knowing that how many files are there. Now first program.java is there and I want to compile this. Now if I say Java C, FIR, I can hit tab, tab auto completes. So hitting tab, it has put the name automatically. Otherwise, I would have typed the full name, FIR. So this is better to use tab for auto completion. Now if I hit enter, this command will not work. It will give us same error as we were getting for Java earlier. So earlier command prompt said, I don't know what Java is. Now it is saying, I don't know what Java C is. Even after our installing Java on our machine, Command prompt doesn't know there is a compiler with Java. Reason behind that is when Java is installed, typically where it goes is it goes to C, program files, Java. Here it gets installed. We see there is a JDK installed, there is a JRE installed. Now JRE is automatically added, automatically told to command prompt that JRE is installed. But JDK is something that is left out. So JDK, we have to do one manual step. In JDK, this bin path is there. We have to take this path, copy. We have to add that to system path. I'll go to properties of the system, advanced system settings. I'll go to environment variables. So there is a variable here called path. We'll go to path variable, this, say edit. In the end of this, 
don't delete anything over here just go to the end put a semicolon and paste whatever path is there of JDK bin we say okay we say okay we say okay now doing this is how command prompt knows that where to find this Java C now if I close it if I run a new command prompt now that command prompt will search for any command that we run here it will also search for in this folder because we have added this folder in the path so if I do set path here it will list that your path has the latest added path here C program files Java JDK bin so command prompt has the way to know where my exes can be my executables can be now you see this is since this path is added if I say Java C enter it knows that Java C is there so this is one additional step that is needed if you want to compile our code now since we have added that let's go back to our desktop I'll do tab again now here we are Java C has been added to the path so I'll say Java C first program now if I hit enter before I hit enter I just want to ask if anyone can tell what will be the result of me pressing enter here what do we expect will be done what is the output we expect here dot class will be created dot class will be created right so we are compiling our java code so byte code will be created and byte code is nothing but first program dot class file yeah thanks Vasker. so when we hit enter now if the syntax in our file is correct I have hit enter silently it has come out but on desktop I see another file got created which is first program dot class file earlier it was first program dot java now this program dot class file has been created by the java compiler so this is the conversion of our code to byte code and this first step we completed when we wrote the code in notepad second step we have completed just now here it was just an example that if we have program name dot java the output will be program dot class and we have seen since in our case it was not program it was first program dot java and we have seen first program dot class as output now since our code has been compiled if we want to run our code we'll write java space first program when we have to run our code we do not have to give either dot java extension or dot class extension we just write the class name whatever is the class name in our program that is what we mention so if I go and write this hit enter you see it came out nothing was printed and reason nothing was printed was in this code we have not written anything here we write our instructions instruct what you want computer to do so in Java terminology if we say this is just a blank program though we see four five lines written here but these lines are just to tell JVM that this is where the program is getting started as of now this program is a blank program that's why we did not see any output I hope people understood this concept of compiling and running okay great so I will do some instructions I'll put some instructions here and the first instruction is let's say in this program we want to print something on output that means when we run the program something should be printed here so I'll what I'll do is I'll write some syntax system dot out dot print ln I'll talk about what this is and I'll say hello world I saved it and now I go back and repeat the same steps so how do I compile the program I want to compile I want to run and someone tell what should I type to compile this program first, first program Java C Java C first program name first space space great first program dot Java hit enter you see it got compiled now to run it Java first program name enter now when we press enter we see that it has printed something on the output which is hello world and that is what we instructed it to do so this time our program is running and it is also giving the output that we asked it to do now the this line of code that I have written here this is 
Java way of printing something on the output. So this is way to print something to output. And the way we do that is we write system capital S then dot out is small then dot print ln everything small and inside the double quotes we do something this is called a string. So we are printing a string on the output that is our first Java program that we have written. You see a line before this. This line if we start with double slash this line is called a comment. Whenever compiler sees a comment line this is a comment line compiler simply ignores it. This line does not mean anything to the compiler. So compiler says oh it starts with double slash this line is not something that I want to compile. This does not start with double slash oh this I have to convert into byte code. So compiler converts into byte code. So you can safely assume even if I put four or five new lines extra lines here compilers ignore these lines also. So these lines and comments do not have any impact on compiler. Compiler si simply ignores it. So this program that I have written with some new lines if I go and compile so the way I am able to see my old commands are I am using up arrow and down arrow key. If I use up arrow key I can see all the commands I typed earlier. So this is something that since we will be using Eclipse you will not have to do uh, in the command prompt but I wanted to explain this to you so that at, at platform level at bottom level we understand how things work. What is compilation? What is JRE? If these foundations are strong we will not struggle going forward when we are working on automation. So these things even if you don't do at your PC, if you don't add Java C to your path that is perfectly fine. But you should be aware that how at ground level things are working. Fine so I compile it again because every time we change our source code we have to compile. Then we run it again and this time we see output has not changed from the previous. Reason it has not changed is because we just gave the blank lines and comments which do not make any difference for the compiler. Now something I will ask you to mug up as of now. now. That sounds like a bad word that oh, we have to cram all this. But for now I will say it is a good thing if you can remember these first four lines. You can say this is start of any Java program. Treat it like this. This is how Java program starts. This is where Java program ends. So first two lines, two three lines and last lines these are fixed always. So start and end this is just like this. Only thing you can change here is the class name which in most of the cases you will not be required to do. Anything that you care about that you write is going inside this. So here another thing to remember is system.out.println. 